Today, we will think about a theorem which is very important in solving problems pertaining to the forward differences. The theorem goes like this. The nth differences of a polynomial of degree n are constants, provided the independent variables are at equal intervals. This is the theorem. We need to find the proof. Let the polynomial be f of x a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus a n minus 1 x plus a n where a0 not equal to 0. These are the n plus 1 terms of the polynomial f of x. Now f of x plus h would be a0 into x plus h raised to n plus a1 into x plus h raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a n minus 1 x plus h plus a n. This is f of x plus h. Then the first forward difference delta f of x equal to f of x plus h minus f of x which could be written as a0 into x plus h raised to n minus x raised to n plus a1 into x plus h raised to n minus 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a n minus 1 x plus h minus x plus a n minus a n from which a n gets cancelled this x gets cancelled this is equal to a0 into x raised to n plus n c1 x raised to n minus 1 h plus n c2 x raised to n minus 2 h square plus etc plus h raised to n minus x raised to n which is this term plus a1 into x raised to n minus 1 plus n minus 1 c1 x raised to n minus 2 h plus n minus 1 c2 x raised to n minus 3 h square plus etc plus h raised to n minus 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 this term plus etc plus this term is now a n minus 1 h now from here you can cancel x raised to n here x raised to n minus 1 gets cancelled and rearranging this we get a0 n c1 n c1 is nothing but n h x raised to n minus 1 so a0 n h is a coefficient of x raised to n minus 1 plus let's look for the coefficient of x raised to n minus 2 from here and here we have n c2 h square into a0 plus a1 into n minus 1 c1 h this is the coefficient of x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus uh, the last time is here a raise a n minus 1 h now this is equal to a0 n h x raised to n minus 1 plus this term could be written as this is a constant so this could be written as a b2 x raised to n minus 2 the next term would be b3 x raised to 
n x raised to n minus 3 plus etc plus b say m minus 1 x plus this term this term is written as bm so this is a first forward difference of the function the polynomial and we see that the first forward difference is a polynomial of degree n minus 1 now we shall take the second forward difference of f of x which is delta square f of x equal to delta of delta f of x so delta square f of x equal to a0 n h into x plus h raised to n minus 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 plus b2 into x plus h raised to n minus 2 minus x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus b m minus 1 x plus h minus x plus b m minus b m here b m and b m gets cancelled x and x get cancelled what remains is a0 n h into x raised to n minus 1 plus n minus 1 c1 x raised to n minus 2 into h plus n minus 1 c2 x raised to n minus 3 h square plus etc plus h raised to n minus 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 this is the first term then comes b2 b2 into x raised to n minus 2 plus n minus 2 c1 x raised to n minus 3 into h plus n minus 2 c2 x raised to n minus 4 into h square plus etc plus h raised to n minus 2 minus x raised to n minus 2 this is the second term plus etc plus uh, the last term b m minus 1 into h rearranging this this is equal to a0 n h into these two x raised to n minus 2 and x raised to n minus 2 cancels out x raised to n minus 1 and x raised to n minus 1 here goes out then what remains is n minus 1 c1 x raised to n minus 2 into h plus n minus 1 c2 x raised to n minus 3 h square plus etc plus h raised to n minus 1 plus b2 into n minus 2 c1 x raised to n minus 3 into h plus n minus 2 c2 x raised to n minus 4 h square plus etc plus h raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus b m minus 1 into h now we know that n minus 1 c1 is n minus 1 and we are separating the coefficients of x raised to n minus 2, x raised to n minus 3, etc. For x raised to n minus 2, the coefficients are the coefficient is actually a0 n into n minus 1 c1 is n minus 1 into h square x raised to n minus 2 plus uh, for x raised to n minus 3, we have one term here and another term here. The coefficients are a0 n into n minus 1 c2 into h cube plus b2 n minus 2 c1 into h x raised to n minus 3 plus etc. We have next term x raised to n minus 4 and so on plus the last term b m minus 1 h. So, we can write this term as 
uh, say as L3. So this becomes A0 n into n minus 1 h square x raised to n minus 2 plus L3 x raised to n minus 3 plus L4 x raised to n minus 4 plus etc plus L say k minus 1 x plus Lk which is Bm minus 1 into h. So this is delta square f of x. So when we took the second order difference, we get a polynomial of degree n minus 2. Likewise, if we take the forward difference n times, it will be delta raised to n f of x. Following the same procedure, we will get a0 into n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc. 3, 2, 1 into h raised to n into x raised to n minus n and all the other terms vanishes and this could be written as a0 into n factorial h raised to n which is a constant. If you take the n plus 1 for our difference delta raised to n plus 1 f of x that is a0 n factorial h raised to n minus a0 n factorial h raised to n which is equal to 0 which completes the proof of the theorem.